Now yesterday we started using variables in math. And variable was a symbol that could be more than one number. And usually we use letters to, um, to show it's a variable, okay? Now today, and well we did it with our homework a little bit too, is we're going to write expressions, okay, math problems using variables when we don't know what the number is, okay? So first, I'm going to pretend that y is going to be my variable. So my variable is going to equal y. Okay. So anytime I don't know what a number is in this case, I'm going to use the letter y. Okay. Now, twice the number or two times the number okay if I'm gonna make a ver uh, an expression a math problem that shows two times the number or twice the number who thinks they can Tell me how I how am I gonna write that? Who can thinks they know? Two times this unknown number. You wanna try? What do you think it is? Hmm, two times. Is two times or twice the number? Is that multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction? What is it? Multiplication. It's multiplication. Now guess what? When we're multiplying numbers, we usually use the x as a symbol. When we're doing variables and stuff, we don't have to put anything in between the symbol and the, the number. So 2 times y is just 2y. When you see 2y like that, or 2a, or 2p, I think we used in our homework last night, 2n, you're just taking that number and you're multiplying it by 2. Okay? Pretty crazy, huh? Pretty easy. What if I wanted to do um, 2, oops. Two, oops, hey, I, I forgot to put two more than the number. Okay? If I want to do two more than this number right here, our variable is y. How am I going to do two more than the number? Two more than the number. What's it going to be? Huh. Because we don't know what the number is yet. So you, you're not going to say, oh, what's your number? It's 6. No, it's not going to be. We have to write out a problem. Okay. Add it with two. So what am I going to write down? I'm going to write down y what? Y plus 2. Exactly. Y plus 2. Because that shows it's 2 more than Okay, what about two less than the number? What's that going to be? I want you all to uh, tell it to me. Don't yell it to me. Just tell it to me when I count to three. One, two, three. Subtraction. Subtraction, that's true. But tell me what my expression should say on three. One, two, three. Y minus two. That's right. Y minus two. Because that makes it fewer. Two fewer than. So two less than. I could also say two fewer than the number. Okay? Yes? On the first one, it says twice the number. Uh -huh. Shouldn't be two times y? That's what it is. Two times y. Yep. Okay. Now, the last one. What if it said, I want to know what is half the number? 
what is half of the number? If I'm trying to break a number into halves, thirds, fourths, what do I need to do? Emma? Uh, a division sign. If I'm breaking it into half, I am dividing that y by what? Two. I'm dividing that y by two. Okay. If you know these things right here, this helps a lot. This will help a lot with your homework. Now I want to bring up a, a type of page that we're going to have to do in our homework or a type of question we're going to have to do in our homework. So what if I was going to, um, what if I wanted to know, I don't know how many um, dogs I saw, but I wanted to know what is 10 less than the number of dogs I saw. Okay. Do I know how many dogs I saw? So I can't j just take a number and then find 10 less than it. What can I use if I don't know the number of dogs I saw? What can I use in its place? Jake. But what can I use in that number's place, though? Y. A Y, yeah. Any letter. I like Y because we've been practicing with Y. So how can I, using that variable, figure out what is 10 less than the number I saw? Who thinks they can tell me? Hmm. What do you think? Well, it can't just be a number, no. Because we don't know how many dogs we saw. Y minus 10. Y minus 10. Because Y is the amount of dogs I saw. I didn't know what number it was, so I used the letter. And if it's 10 less, I have to take away 10. Y take away 10. So on these problems we're doing right now, we're not just going to have a one number answer. We're not, because there's a variable in there. There's a number we don't know that we're using a symbol to show. What if I wanted to say, um, okay, 25 more than the birds in the tree, okay? Paul, do I know how many birds that I saw in the tree? I don't, do I? So what symbol should we use for that? What symbol have we been using for numbers we don't know? What symbol have we been using for numbers we don't know? Y. y. So I'm going to start with my Y. Now, if it's 25 more, what am I going to do to that Y? Add what? So y plus 25 is exactly right. That is 5 more than, or sorry, 25 more than the amount of dogs I saw. Okay. Now, I want to try a hard one. Okay. Two hard ones, actually. Ready? 4 more than three times the worms in the dirt. Do we know how many worms that were in the dirt? So what am I going to use to figure out how many worms we're in the dirt. I'm going to use Y on this case, yeah. I'm going to use Y. Now it says four more than three times the worms. Well, we have three times. What do we need to do to this Y to make it three times? Ariza. Y times three? Yeah. We can just put the three right there. Three Y means Y times three or three times Y. But am I done yet? No. What else do I have to do? 
It said four more than three times the worms in the dirt. Huh. Fatima. Um, addition? Well, what do I need to add to it? Four. Four, that's right. Four. Four. So I took my three times the worms, amount of worms times three, and I added four more to it. Okay? Yes. Okay? Now, last one I'm going to do. Okay? Okay? You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Six less than oops, the Actually, this one's easy. I don't want to do that. Six less than twice the ducks in the pond. Okay. Six less than twice the ducks in the pond. Now, we don't know the amount of ducks, do we? That's the one number. We don't know that number. So what are we going to use? Tell me on three. One, two, three. Why? Why? These ones are using Why? Use any letter you want to. What do I need to do this Y first? Six less than twice the ducks. It's the first thing I need to do. What do you think, Annika? Uh, do six? That would be six less than the ducks in the pond, but I want six less than twice the ducks in the pond. But how do I write Y times two? Do I write y times 2? How do I show this? What do I do? You're so close. You're on it. Nope, it's just 2y. That's y times 2 right there. Okay. Then what do I do? I have twice the ducks. One more thing to do. What is it, Josh? 2y um, two minus 6. 2y minus 6. Twice the ducks is just 2y. Then I take away the six, okay? All right.